What's up, y'all? I'm at the new skate park in Bonita Springs, Florida. This has become my new Saturday spot after the work week. I come here and uh, just have the heaviest session that I can. And I just came up with an idea that I wanna try out today because these days, uh, especially days like today where I'm here solo without the, the homies and everything, um, I like to use it just to get comfortable with some new tricks, to get comfortable with some of the obstacles I'm not used to here, and just to be able to flow the park better and better. and. Uh, just step to more and more of it and and get more of my tricks on more of the obstacles and stuff like that so i came up with this idea that i want to share with you so as we all know skating is unlike pretty much any other sport in so many ways but there's times where i do uh i love i love all sorts of sports and i try to look at other sports and other disciplines and relate it to skating especially when it comes to like training and just getting better and improving your skills and stuff like and just getting stronger and i've been reading kobe bryant's book uh, Mamba mentality that's all about his career and his strategies he used to become who he was and, and everything and leave that legacy and obviously it's basketball so it's a lot different than skating but um, but you know one thing I did learn is just about repetition and about consistency and about discipline and like really uh, pushing yourself you know it's like that's what he did on the court and then the gym I want to do the same thing with skating you know what I mean I don't I don't ever intend to like be at a Kobe Bryant level in skateboarding but I do want to be my best you know because I think that's what we all should strive for is just to be the best we can be so the other day I was practicing three-point shots and I'll do like an around the world type thing where, where I'll start at one angle and I'll shoot a three and if I make it I can go to the next angle and if I make that keep going if you miss one I'll give myself one redemption shot to, to keep on going and if I miss that second one I got to go back to the spot prior and so you know you can make your way all the way around if you're making them first try or if you keep missing them you can make, make your way all the way back to the beginning you got to start over so I thought how could I you know this is how I get that muscle memory for a three-point shot on lock and so I thought like, you know, you could really do the same thing with like kick flips uh, or flat ground tricks. You know, I did, I did, I tried this same tactic with the straight eight 
um, the other day because it's really hard for me to do them all first try in a row and I get really frustrated but with this sort of technique with the the redemption try and everything it helped me like breeze through the straight eight in like 15 minutes and it just made it a little more fun honestly it was almost like like playing a game against myself so i want to try this at the park today with all the different obstacles i want to come up with like six tricks on different obstacles and try to do that same thing where i i try a trick you know for example let's say like three tricks would be kickflip and then board slide and then ollie down the stairs if i do the kickflip first try and then move on to the board slide then i fall and then I try that redemption try and fall, I gotta go back and do a kickflip again, you know, and so on and so forth. So I wanna curate six tricks that I'm kinda struggling with or, or that I just really want to get on point and get that muscle memory locked in um, just so I can like flow the park better and just, just be a stronger skater and, and be able to like push myself a little harder and everything. So uh, I'm gonna try that today at the park. So like I said, I'm gonna try to do each of these tricks, not exactly in a row, because I am gonna do that redemption try, but uh, my goal is to be doing these over and over. So obviously I wanna do them all first try and just brush right through it, but um, I wanna do that, get that repetition in and get my body used to just doing these tricks over and over and committing. And I feel like once I get to the, the you know, end of the list and I get towards that last 50-50, um, I'll just be ready to just fully commit to it and not second guess it at all. So I don't have to go back to the previous trick, but let's see how it goes. All right, now onto the 50-50. I did that one first try, so now I'm gonna try the Fakey 5 -oh. Back to the 50 again. I'm gonna feel like I've mastered this trick after today. All right, next is a flat ground nollie flip, which I'm really not great at. So let's see if I can do one in two tries so I don't have to go back to the fakey 5 -0. All right, the next two I believe I can do, if I fully commit to them, I believe I can do them in two tries. So <laughs> Jesus, just help me commit. Help me pop that tail and slam down on the rail. Um, the fakie 50 I've actually never done across this flat bar, so I'm going to try to get the blunt slide to fakey and then go right into that last trick, the grand finale. That was an ugly one, but I'm going to count it because I have a feeling I might not land this fakie 50. I'll just go back and clean up the blunt slide, but I'm going to give this one my all. Fakie 50-50 across this whole rail, Let's see if I can do it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I'm gonna have to take the L on the fakey 50-50. I tried, I tried a handful and I just can't get myself to really lock in right or commit to it fully. So I'm gonna practice that one a little more and it's looking like rain. There's a couple other clips I wanted to try to get. So I'm gonna put a cap on that. I'm glad I got to try out the exercise and practice some of these tricks. I did that 50-50 like a million times. Did the blunt slide a few times. Um, hyped I did the nollie flip quickly. Literally as I finished that sentence, rain started so session is probably over thanks so much for watching y'all i hate that the session got ended short from the rain but um but i had a great day skating and i didn't get it all on camera i just got the challenge on camera and i just wanted to share that with y'all i thought it was a cool idea for when sessions like this where you're on your own you don't have your homies to hype you up and play games to skate with and um and everything it is kind of a good time to just practice and do some tricks over and over and over just get that muscle memory locked in uh get get tricks on lock uh, so that way you can pull them throw them out in lines and stuff like that um and feel free to let me know how you how you liked the video how you liked the idea um i'm definitely going to use it more often and and um and you might too uh, i also just wanted to say you can go to professorshred.com to check out anything that i do uh, i've got art and writing and um, links to my videos and podcasts and stuff like that. Um, so if you're into it, head over to the website. There's also a contact me tab that I always like to encourage people to go to if they just want to shoot me a message. Um, you just have to put your name and your email and you can write me whatever you want, who your favorite skater is, what your favorite trick is, how you did or didn't like my video or whatever. And I love I love to um, bless people and I've got extra inventory and stuff to do so. So I, uh, I just might respond and, and ask for your address so I can send you something. But, um, but I appreciate you watching the video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless you. Um, I love you and keep killing it.